Good afternoon, this is Clem Blake from Mallee Weather Watch and today I thought we'd do something a little bit different with uh, taking you behind the scenes and showing you how we uh, put this afternoon's uh, weather forecast together so uh, without further ado, uh, let's get things underway This morning at 9am we had the uh, minimum temperature uh, data come through uh, so I've already uh, completed this map and now I'm working on the maximum temperature data and also the 24 hour rainfall to 3 p.m. so uh, what I do is I um, go to the weather observations and right now I have uh, Robin Vale so they were on uh, 14 degrees today and we'll go to their nearest station which is Mildura and uh, look at the rainfall and they've had no rainfall in the 24 hours to 3 p.m. so what we do is we uh, go here to our little cursor and input 14 degrees and I like to try and uh, center things a bit makes it look a bit better and we head over to rainfall and we put in zero there we go now we go over to uh, Swan Hill, that's our uh, lucky last uh, location on the Bureau's uh, website and they also recorded 14 degrees and they have had 0 0.6 uh, millimetres of rain so we'll uh, go and put their uh, rainfall observations in so 0.6 of a millimetre and 14 degrees there we go had a little bit of a uh, issue finding the cursor there but we got there in the end so 14 degrees now for uh, Oyen we actually update or upload our data onto uh, three weather platforms so we'll um, show you where we upload to we have uh, weather underground uh, now that um, is a US site so uh, beauty it did uh, convert straight away so um, there's our weather underground uh, weather platform uh, we also upload to uh, weather cloud uh, but that doesn't update as frequently it updates uh, every 10 minutes We also update our uh, weather observations to WOW uh, which is a joint venture between the Bureau of Meteorology and the Met Office UK. Now if you click on home we have our uh, map of Victoria. Now we do have uh, two weather stations around the area. Uh, if I click on this one this uh, comes up as uh, Wolpe Up and this one here uh, Mallee Weather Watch Oyen AWS now uh, with the Bureau's observations on their site uh, they do sometimes have locations with AWS in front of that and that stands for Automatic Weather Station so looking at Oyen and this is actually a private site that I upload my data onto 
uh, we actually recorded uh, 14 degrees and we had uh, one millimetre of rain so we'll uh, chuck in uh, 14 degrees and uh, oh, it's centred uh, pretty good so I uh, don't have to worry about moving it to the side and one millimetre of rain. So that's the uh, maximum temperatures and rainfall data done for the forecast. Now uh, one thing I have accidentally done is uh, f forget to save it so I um, have accidentally clicked no on several occasions and I've had to do all the data again so I do not want to do that so that's what I want to do I want to click on yes and I always save the uh, files in uh, JPEG format so when I click on it it has uh, in the uh, file name location it's already there rainfall so it asks me if I want to overwrite that which I do and we save that and we do the same for the uh, maximum temperatures as well and we don't need this because uh, we uh, already did that this morning so that's our uh, data process for now so we're pretty much uh, waiting for the forecast to come through but uh, what we do before then is uh, get our synoptic charts and satellite photo um, and uh, that's the uh, three o'clock uh, satellite so we actually want that one so I'll go to my screen capture tool and I want to capture the selected area so I normally uh, I normally start from uh, around this uh, part of the image and highlight that so I want to capture and uh, there you have it, a captured satellite photo, so yes that's done and we want to download that in our allocated forecast folder now each day has its own folder and in the video editing process I'll explain to you one of the reasons why we do that so go to Sunday forecast and then we have an old satellite photo there sorry about that that was my phone uh, so we click on that and save that and we have our satellite photo now what we also need is uh, synoptic charts so we go back to uh, our main weather zone window and we click on uh, synoptic charts now just make sure that's the 3 p.m. chart which it is so perfect and I normally name this one uh, current and we'll do the same for Sunday Monday Tuesday and Wednesday
Oh, my phone's going uh, absolutely mad today. Uh, so that's all our synoptic charts and satellite photo. So what we do now is uh, we go to our video timeline and uh, hopefully uh, I'll be able to explain how we put it all together and uh, sort of the elements that are in the uh, timeline and uh, what I do to sort of decrease the uh, time needed to actually uh, put the video together. So we use uh, Vegas Pro for video editing, it's broadcast standard uh, and uh, we'll just uh, we'll actually ignore that so I'll open um, I'll open another uh, file and uh, no it's uh, gonna do the same okay we'll jump to uh, Friday we can pretty you uh, pretty much use any forecast when uh, updating uh, the uh, forecast now I don't know why it's uh, doing this because we really don't um, need that but uh, yeah I'll just uh, ignore ignore this and um, we'll have it up online finally now these are all old maps and images so what I do to save time is I'll delete all the old elements in that forecast and we go here and that's all gone now what we have here is I guess you could call it a video template but you have two tracks on the top you have your titles uh, as you can see at the start there's like a little checkered um, squares uh, and your titles are over that and that's normally found in the uh, media generator tab you have uh, you have your titles here so the this is the one uh, at the top left hand corner which we normally use um, we also use color gradients as well so we can control uh, what gradient we use um, and it's the uh, let me see yeah the eighth one on the right so the uh, orange and light yellow and uh, you also have uh, credit roll as well uh, noise texture a lot of these we don't um, use uh, solid color um, you also have uh, test pattern as well and of course the titles and text uh, which we already have in place so we'll go back to our project media and what we want to do first is put a photo in uh, we like to uh, showcase uh, different photos from around the region so if you do have a photo that uh, you'd like to uh, have in our afternoon forecast uh, just shoot us a message and uh, we will certainly put that in for you so we'll load uh, the Sunday forecast image and we'll put this one in Now we're actually using two video tracks, you can use more and that might come in if you say have a sponsorship ad uh, you may have uh, of course your vision and your audio uh, for that specific element but normally we just use the two video tracks uh, for editing so what we want to do is drag it down so when you put the uh, marker on here you have your background image and you have the title so what we want to do is uh, just change the date here so uh, it's uh, Saturday 
first of the seventh hasn't the year gone fast we delete that because uh, we have a new uh, photographer and we'll just change the font so it looks the same as above and uh, yes that looks uh, really uh, the way it should be now this is where we have our uh, minimum temperature uh, introduction so we need to change the dates in all these title slides now when it comes to putting the map in uh, that's your last bit of vision now when I put my uh, map in go to the first bit of black and we just go here to uh, import the media now uh, what we want is the Saturday minimum temperatures and put it in there put it down onto the right track so when you view the forecast uh, you'll see the minimum temperatures uh, intro and after that there you go you have uh, your uh, temperature map uh, in there now we do the same for maximum temperatures so Saturday and uh, hasn't the year gone fast so I like to um, while I'm doing this I like to check that there's no uh, black bits in the video because you sometimes can have a second or two um, where the titles or the graphics haven't gone in properly so uh, I just like to go back and uh, make sure that it's all nice and uh, smooth so we'll put the uh, maximum temperatures in for Saturday now sometimes we have to put in a extra slide when we have had rainfall around the region so what I'll do is I'll come back here last bit of vision first bit of black now this uh, blue slide is uh, 10 seconds but I'll trim it down to five so we go uh, go here and uh, I'll just come over and push it back to five seconds now we need to do a new title so we go over to media generator uh, we have the new title slide in but I need to um, edit the text so normally put it down to uh, 14 center it and go up to our chosen font and we put a title in for the rainfall And we always do uh, 24 hour rainfall to uh, 3 p.m. And uh, would help if I actually typed uh, rainfall. And uh, there you have it. And we put uh, the date in. Uh, 
okay so now we have that title in place and I also have to uh, push this back to where uh, the last bit of black was so there's no more titles now only when you take it back to the uh, background you will see the title so we go back to our media folder or day of the week and we'll put the rainfall in and just check that it's a smooth transition to um, the uh, specific map now what we can do we can actually move this back over to where we it should have been uh, if there's no rain we don't need to put an extra slide in uh, we do drag this title slide back and uh, now we will have to uh, edit that because we did get the 3 p.m. Uh, synoptic situation I did originally get 12 but I thought I will uh, get the 3 p.m. one so I can show you what um, we actually do so there's our 3 p.m. synoptic situation I normally like to click down here because the uh, maps will actually go to where uh, I actually want uh, them to appear on the timeline so uh, we're all ready to uh, put the maps in might have to move this over a bit so go to uh, media uh, our current one so we put the current in and we can pretty much just repeat the process I don't have to click on um, any additional position uh, they'll go in uh, quite nicely and uh, I actually did put the wrong one in there so I'll just delete that for a second and we'll want to go to Sunday and here we are Sunday and Monday and I'll probably have to move this again unfortunately but that doesn't take too long there we go so we should be able to fit uh, all our charts in uh, very nicely So there we have our um, synoptic situation and we'll just put one, did I put, uh, you lose track of things sometimes, yes I did uh, actually import Wednesday but I didn't uh, there we go the uh, joys of our uh, video editing so I'll drag this uh, um, drag this over so we've uh, got some room to uh, do some uh, more stuff uh, now I just check that Wednesday is five seconds because I think I may have uh, stretched it actually yes uh, so we'll put you put this back to uh, a minute and five seconds and uh, hopefully you're able to uh, follow along I'm not getting too uh, technical technical 
at all. So with Wednesday synoptic chart uh, is at five seconds. And now what we want to do is uh, take our blue bit back, put the title in um, for the satellite photo and uh, while I'm at it I'll uh, correct the date and I'll go back and check that I've actually put in the right date for uh, the synoptic charts So now we are ready to put our uh, satellite photo in. I'll uh, have to make that 3 p.m. though. No, I've already got 3 p.m. in there, so all good. Go to our black vision again, and we just grab our satellite photo from the... Uh, Sunday forecast folder put that down and put you over like that and bring the title board backwards now this is where it uh, this is where it gets uh, interesting and we show you what we do just to save us uh, a bit less uh, time so it's not so labor intensive uh, late in the afternoon when the uh, official forecast comes through So here's an old uh, old forecast, uh, so we don't want this, so we'll delete that and change the date here. And the day here. Now what we do is we actually put in the overnight lows and maximum temperature maps for Sunday and the reason we do this is because um, when we edit in Photoshop uh, and we open the maps from this particular folder uh, when you go to insert the video forecast uh, the maps are already edited in the video timeline so we already have the icons uh, the temperature information uh, they've all been added and we haven't had to uh, go into the video timeline and uh, do any extra editing on that perspective so we have uh, Sunday here and now we change to Monday we just get rid of all these old uh, forecast as we go along so that's for Monday uh, we go to insert Monday I might just move this just a fraction forward uh, just so we can uh, actually uh, fit these in
and uh, Tuesday so we're nearly there uh, in terms of our video timeline I get rid of this old forecast here change the day here no wrong day wrong day um, that's better so we're now at Tuesday this put in Wednesday and we put the final uh, two maps in Now this very last slide that we have is our credits for the end. Uh, so I've actually kept this one because it has a nice uh, dissolve effect uh, at the end of the uh, slide. And now what we do is we have uh, we have the final time of the video, so that's two minutes uh, twenty. Now what I do is uh, I've actually got audio pre-saved already uh, to put in this video but normally if I have to uh, put together a new track I uh, use Cool Edit Pro. Uh, software is over 20 years old but uh, a lot of radio stations uh, still actually use this so it's uh, one of those uh, packages that has stood the test of time so back into our timeline and I'm going to go to my audio folder weather audio and uh, there we go so I've sort of uh, numbered each audio track uh, differently. So audio one, two, three, four, um, five, six. Now the reason I do that is because uh, if we have a weather warning or like today we've had rainfall, then your audio track's going to be a bit longer. Normally it's two minutes ten if we don't have any warnings, but today it's 2 minutes 20 so we're going to use audio 2 and we've got our audio track up here so what I want to do is just drag it down like that and we have uh, three tracks for the video we've got titles up the top uh, graphics at uh, the second track and our audio track is the number three so that's how we put our video timeline together um, it's perfectly uh, lined up as well so now what I'll do is I want to save that and go to our daily forecast folder 
and we save it as Sunday forecast. And there we go. Now I have uh, <laughs> said quite a bit and recorded uh, quite a lot of uh, video for this so uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll post this in uh, two parts and uh, we'll be back uh, soon with uh, stage two of how we put the forecast together. So uh, I certainly hope you enjoy this uh, little uh, package. <laughs>